In this video, we're going to be playing my oldest Roblox games, and we're going to put them on a tier list. A lot of them are pretty bad, so don't diss too hard in the comments. This is Stick Waving Simulator. I probably spent about 100 hours creating this game. I even made a fake loading screen. Let's go ahead and check the updates, and there's nothing there. The about page looks like there's a couple things there, and let's hit play. So your sticks actually do save, and you basically just wave them around like this, and I didn't even know how to use proximity prompts back then. As you can see, you literally have to touch it to sell. I think the maps are okay for a first time game. But let's go ahead and check out the other areas. This is the teleport room because I didn't know how to use UI back then. Let's check out all the maps. So this right here is the desert map and I think the cacti kill you. Next we have this ice map and there's actually coins underwater. The next area is this candy area. As you can see, we have more and more stick shops the farther you get in the game. As you can see, the UI comes down and you can buy the sticks. However, I didn't know how to make an equip system back then. Let's go back to the teleport room and check out this area. This was one of my favorite ones to create because of this underwater place. But looking back at it, it really sucks. Next, we have this place. As you can see, there's not much to it. It's really plain. There's also a shop here with even better sticks. This is the best stick in the game. There's also a cell over there. Again, I didn't know how to use proximity prompts, and I think I made a little bit of an obby. As you can see, you can just run through it if you have the game pass, but I think the game pass actually makes it harder. And once you get over here, there's a code in here. And for some reason, I left this asset pack right there, and that is from the toolbox. As you can see, there's even a green screen wall. That's how I got the pictures for the sticks. Let's check out the final area. I'm really not sure where I was going with this place. It's just a bunch of free models. But as you can see, there's definitely room for improvement. I do want to point out that these maps are all free modeled. And I think you can actually escape from here and explore the map further. And if you're curious, this is what the UI looks like. This Discord server doesn't exist anymore. This is the upgrades area where I sold the game passes. I tried adding most popular to make it seem more clickable, but they never really got purchased. Yeah, honestly, not one of my best games. We're gonna have to put this is over here in B tier. Hey guys, I've been checking out this amazing app called Talkie, where basically you can chat with over 100,000 AI characters from shows, games, and pretty much everything. And the best part, it's free to download. Let me show you how it works. So right here, I asked Creecraft about his latest Roblox video. He's giving me the secrets about his new videos. It's awesome to get to talk to the same Creecraft personality that we all know from streams. And now I'm talking with Kazuha from Genshin Impact. I asked him about his latest journeys and battles. He's been telling me about his adventures across Teva and his favorite sword techniques. It actually feels feels like I'm talking to the real Kazuha. And now I'm chatting with Captain Levi. I asked him about his toughest battles and he's given me some intense tactical advice. It's again like I'm literally in the same room as him. And also that's just a few of the characters on this app. You can talk to characters from anime, video games, movies, and more. Whether it's Kazuha from Genshin Impact or Captain Levi, Taki has it all. If you want to try Taki out today, click the link in the description, download Taki, and start chatting with your favorite characters today. This is Aviator's Cafe. I'm not really sure where I was going with this one either. It was supposed to be kind of a showcase thing because I did a lot of scripting commissions. There's a little get info UI and actually spend way too long on the UI because it appeared differently on every screen. Someone named Star asked me to add a mushroom to the game so I put this here and we are literally in a void. But there are snacks you can grab like this and then you can eat them. However, one thing I didn't account for was grabbing multiple things at the same time. As you can see, I can hold them both. Now I have three things at the same time. This lure board was created by me but not the UI and I scripted these chairs on my own. But I do want to point out that this entire build is a free model. Honestly, I was a little bit more proud of Aviator's Cafe, but it's gonna have to stick in C tier. What can you really do in that game? This is Aviator Obby. I created it before I knew how to script. I tried to be all professional with my team and I will attempt to fix it, but this game was created by me and me only. However, I am proud to say that I scripted everything in this game on my own. I was actually learning scripting back then. I don't know why these jumps are so hard, but there we go. I just spawned back here somehow, and this is supposed to be the start. I was into planes, and I still am, so I imported these really cool free models, but there's not much else to the game. It's basically just a regular obby, and obby with his broken spawn points. Okay, aviator obby was a confusing one. It was one of my very first ones, but I don't know where to put it. To be honest, it wasn't the best game, so if I'm being honest, it goes over here. This is obby wars, and it's the game that actually got me into scripting. I made it in 2021 for a school project, and for some reason, the intermission isn't working. I think we need two people in the game. So this is an asset pack and a texture pack, but I actually want to take the game from over here and put it in here but let me show you guys how it works i'm gonna start a server with two players so that i can show you guys what the game actually looks like so here we have both players loaded up and the intermission is actually working so i'm just gonna be playing on this guy so it looks like there are a bunch of random maps and the wooden road one was chosen it looks like there is a script error i'm gonna try to fix it real quick so it actually turns out i moved the spawn points into the workspace so i'm just gonna comment this line and create a new one i'm also gonna move this transparency script out of there and into server script service just need to tweak the transparency script as well now let's play okay i've got both 
both players in the game. Looks like the classic jumps map was chosen. It says get ready to play, and I think we'll get teleported. We were just teleported, and now it's a race. So I'm sure you can tell why this game really would not have worked out. This time, checkerboard was chosen. So as you can see, it's a really, really simple map, and to win, you just have to touch the yellow part at the end. So now I'm just gonna touch this part, and for some reason, I didn't get the win. So there's a lot of issues with this game, and I'm not gonna attempt to fix them. But as you can see, the other player won the race because they were the only one standing. All right, Obby Wars was an interesting one. Honestly, it might have been one of the starts to my YouTube channel, but it's an okay game. I might have to put it in B tier. A little bit better than Stick Waving Simulator when you play with friends. This game was made back in 2020. For some reason, Teleport failed. That's probably because of a free model script. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but this was made off Alvin Blox's game tutorial. I was a scripter and a couple of friends were building the map. As you can see, you can click with no cooldown and we don't even have a shop. This was around the time I learned brick color dot random, so I kind of went crazy with it. And the daily reward doesn't even work. And this is a pet egg that I never used but the teleporters do work. This is supposed to be a military base, and it just takes us here. This menu also lets you rebirth, but it basically does nothing. Let me just give myself some clicks. So I just gave myself a million clicks, let's rebirth, and as you can see, now when I click, I get two, but I need a thousand clicks. So you're doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, that game was entirely free model Haven, where it's gonna go right into D tier. This is Escape the Shape Factory a little bit before I learned how to code in school. This was basically the start of scripting for me, and as you can see, there's nothing here for some reason. I think I didn't anchor anything I do want to play, so I'm gonna fix it up in studio. So here's my lovely map, and I'm gonna try and play right here. Alright guys, I'm in the game, and for some reason, I have animations set. But let's go ahead and try out this obby. There we go, third time's a charm, and stage 2, it does save, and it plays a nice effect. I don't know why I keep falling off. Um, this sound effect does keep playing though, so I don't know about that. Now we climb up here. And for some reason, that was a whole stage. Now we do these jumps. And for some reason, there's a noob here. Oh, the stairs actually disappeared. Let's go up. And now that we're up here, we have a simple camera trick to get to the next stage. And we can check here as well. It's the same one. And for some reason, these are both one stage. And then you get dropped down here to the next stage, which never got completed. Okay, Escape the Shape Factory was literally me getting back into Roblox and Roblox Studio, starting my YouTube channel. This game kind of was the start of everything. We're gonna have to put it in S tier just because it started all of this. The final game for today also never got completed. This is Eating Simulator. Let's go ahead and try it out. So as you can see, this was my best game so far, but I stopped too early. So it never really reached a good functionality point. But the stats do say the last time I played this was probably a year ago. I'm clicking and nothing's really happening, unfortunately. The animations do play though. And as you can see, there's a nice mini map as well. This time I learned how to use proximity prompts. This really nice shop pops up and you can just go through all the items. Let's see if I can equip the apple and I do actually get it. And it actually does work. Then we can sell and there's also some game passes, which I actually never made. As you can see, it still says sell fat. I remember the UI for this menu took so long for no reason. And for some reason, you can upgrade your backpack from the menu. The music button does work as well. But the idea was you you upgrade your backpack to hold more fat, which is dumb. In general, it's a pretty boring game, and the map is a free model. I got nothing to say, but again, free model haven. It's gonna have to go here, but it was a little bit better than clicking simulator. There we go. I like that. Honestly, these first games were awful, but they were the starts to some pretty big things.